AP Calculus AB, find the volume of the solid generated by revolving. Uh, in this case, uh, y is equal to square root of x bounded by y equals 0 and x is equal to 4. And let's start with the first one and say by the about the x-axis. So say about the x-axis, about x-axis. So the really quick peek at what this graph looks like. Looks like this. We're saying it goes like this. This is zero right here. And that we're bounded here, aren't we? We're bounded here at x equals 4. And then here's 0 right here. And what we're saying when we're talking about revolving this, our axis of revolution is here. Our axis of revolution is right here. So we're going to turn this thing about this line right here, right? About the x-axis. So we're going to spin that. And as we do, right, this thing is going to go from here. This point will go from here. So it's exactly the opposite here. And then all this will fill itself in like this, right? And then it will just keep just trying to give you an idea what this thing is going to is trying to look like. Right? It's trying to look like something like this, isn't it? And then just, right? And like that. And if what I'm saying to you is if you looked into it, it would have this like hole. And it's not a hole. This is solid, right? But So we have this solid thing. If we look if we look into it from here, right, we'd see this solid thing shaded in, right? And it would just keep getting thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner. So how do we find that area? And this is not very difficult, this method right here. This is actually the disk method. This is the disk method that we're going to use right here. And... It's actually relatively simple. We just need to keep in mind that volume of a solid rotated is pi times the definite integral a to b of the radius of the thing that we're turning squared times dx. Now, just really quick, re really quick on this. Pi times r squared is area of a circle. And remember, we're taking circles here, right? We're taking circles. But remember, we're going to change the x value a little bit. And when we change the x value, that's going to give us volume. So hopefully you can see that this thing is a volume. So it's like taking a quarter. You can take the area of a quarter by, by finding its radius, squaring its radius, multiplying it by pi. If you wanted to find the volume of that quarter, you just multiply by that number you just got by its thickness, wouldn't you? So that's all we're doing here. We're just taking a bunch of these little circles, you know, over and over and over again. And, and you see the circle keeps getting smaller. So what is the size of that thing? Well, what I'm going to do here is fill in the blank. So volume is equal to pi. We want, you know, we want this from 0 to 4. So 0 to 4 are the boundaries that we have here. So times the definite integral of 0 to 4, right? And the radius is this thing turning right here, and it keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And how do we know? So its radius is actually x, a square root of x. This squared is this one, dx. So this problem is going to turn out really, really easy, I think. So the volume here is going to be, I'm going to simplify this. If you don't mind, I'm going to write it one more time for you guys. Definite integral 0 to 4 square root of x squared is just x, so x dx. From here, we can integrate, right? So we're going to go ahead and integrate here. So we're going to integrate. And when we integrate this, we're going to, what, here, this is crucial because I keep screwing this up. Remember to keep bringing this pi with you, right? So here's my pi, right here's pi. I'm going to go ahead and integrate. The first integral of, of x is x squared over 2, isn't it? And then because we integrated it, we have to put our limits of integration here and here, right? Our boundaries there. So this is not hard to figure out. This is actually, we take x is 4. 4 squared is 16. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 8 times pi is 8 pi. And then if you want to make sure that you are using the fundamental theorem of calculus, right, is f of b minus f of a, well, then you'd do this too. But if you look, you'd have 0 squared is 0 over 2. So minus 0 is still 8 pi is our volume. If you're taking the Calc AP uh, exam and you're allowed to use your calculator on this, please remember to write your calculus. So I hope this was helpful. This was a, and this was an example of how to use, um,
the disk method. So we're using the disk method here. So I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, I'd love to hear your comments and please subscribe.